Hey guys, it's Crazy Comic Lady and I'm back with my month in review videos to go through the diamond paintings that I did for both June and July. So the very first finish I have to show you is dun, 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 Lady of the Lake by Sarah Mustafa. And this one is absolutely beautiful. The sparkle on it is just incredible, especially when you get it in natural sunlight. It's I had a lot of fun working on this one. So this was actually one that uh, my subscribers voted for in my Stash Countdown video series. And I actually, because I'm a huge fan of Avatar The Last Airbender, I actually did this one while watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I was curious to see what I could get done first, if I could complete the kit first or the, the series. So it actually turned out that I managed to complete all of Avatar The Last Airbender and I got up to season two episode 11 of Korra <laughs> so it was it was a really great fun fun project and it felt like it worked out really quickly and I do have a few other Avatar The Last Airbender kits in my collection so next time in the, I'm in the mood for an Avatar binge I shall get one of those kits out but I just thought it's so beautiful and I love that it didn't have all that many colours it was only 35 colours and I'm a huge fan of of lower colour kits. I'm not a big fan of massively confetti heavy pieces. But if you're interested, <laughs> this was my timing sheet where I was calculating exactly how long it took me. So I think the total time actually added up to about 33 hours. Oh no, 32 hours and 56 minutes to be exact. So yeah, I was so happy on my finish on this one. Sarah Mustafa just, just does brilliant character pieces. So I do have another avatar kit from the same artist that I will definitely look forward to doing maybe next year. So that was my first finish for June. So absolutely no complaints, perfect kit, loved it, enjoyed it, uh, couldn't wait to, to keep working on it because it was so pretty. I just keep trying to get the sparkle in so you can see the, the super sparkle. So anyway that was my first finish. My second finish for June was this piece. This is Shell from Die Moon Shop. So I unboxed this on my channel a little while ago and I knew I'd had problems with my very first kit from Die Moon Shop. So when they, they tried to make it right, they gave me a, a $25 gift card, which I spent on, on this kit and two others. And I unboxed it on my channel and I thought just at a glance when I went through it on the unboxing that the symbols looked okay, uh, the printed symbols on the canvas, but they really weren't. Um, when I started working on it, I went, oh no, because it was very similar to the problem I had with my very first kit where uh, the symbols were printed so badly that both the lowercase b and the lowercase d, they looked absolutely identical to each other. Uh, the, the fours on the canvas were just blurred out blobs. Um, you had fives and eights that both looked like S's. Um, I'll quickly put a picture up in the screen here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about when it comes to the to the blurry symbols, but um, it wasn't very fun. It, it was hugely confetti heavy. I did go with their squares, which I have to say that their square kits were uh, better than the round kits. They were a lot sparklier. Um, if I hold it up and you can kind of see the the sparkle on it, whoops. So anyway, because it was so confetti heavy, it took so long. And I actually had one point where I sat down to work on it and I got like struck by this huge anxiety bubble on my chest. Um, and then I just went, nope, not today. And I walked away from it because that's the opposite of what diamond painting is supposed to be. It's supposed to help with anxiety and stress, not actually cause anxiety and stress. So um, I did finish it. And I did save, there were a few of the trash drills in it. Um, I saved a little pot, they've got like little holes on them, but they're not too bad. Um, for example, there's, there's one right there that you can see that has a little hole in it. Um, but I finished it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it wasn't the greatest experience. I thought because, you know, they tried to make it right by giving me uh, the the discount code, um, you know, the $25 gift card. And there was a, a discount code for summer where it was a 50% off sale. 
So I can't complain too much because I think this kit then came to about £28 um, when you add it up with the others that I got as well. So after I didn't know how I felt about the rendering either. Um, it was also charted as well with a lot of ABs all in the skin tone around here, which ABs are these really sparkly ones. And they're a much lighter shade than the colour that actually went in. And I thought that's going to look really weird. So I didn't end up using the ABs. I just used the other colour that they sent, if you don't like ABs. But after, I wasn't going to bother complaining. I thought, okay, I've given them a second go. I've had a bad experience with my second uh, temp of a kit from them. I won't complain. I'll just not buy from them anymore. And then literally not much longer after that, the company actually went bankrupt. Um, so there was a bit of a massive drama on, on all the Facebook groups about that, where people who had ordered kits only literally like a, a month, if that, after I did, they didn't receive their kits and they didn't get refunds because the camp company's gone bankrupt. So um, I know a lot of people are upset. And basically now I look at this picture and to be honest, I'm just really, really grateful <laughs> that I even got the kit, to be honest, after you know, so many people not getting their kits and not even receiving refunds. Um, it was it was awful and it was so sudden and the website went down. Yeah, so just very grateful I at least received my kits. Um, my heart goes out to everyone who's still uh, waiting on refunds because Dime Moon Shop was literally the most expensive company out there. These these even with the sale, they're not hugely cheap. A lot of their a lot of their kits. So. I'm just glad I got the kit. Um, sadly, another one that I unboxed on my channel, Ocean, I saw someone else complete that and the rendering on that is is awful. So I'm sort of dreading doing the other kits that I have from Diamond Shop. They have now been taken over by a, a new company, Diamond Painting Fanatics. So they're currently in the state of like rebranding and relaunching however um the the new owner is a big supporter of ai art so just to let you be aware that um there may be more ai artists coming to diamond shop once the takeover happens it may not but highly probable is my guess on it so anyway that was my second finish for the month of june um I think that was pretty much all I got done <laughs> in June, unfortunately. So moving on, my next finish for the month of, I think it was July, we're now moving on to. Was this piece Wisdom by the artist Jojo's Art? Oh, I forgot to say that the artist on the previous kit was Anna Dittman. She's brilliant, does lots of mermaids, <laughs> gorgeous. So this was Wisdom, this one by Jojo's Art, and it's quite small. This one's only a, a 54 by 42 centimetre. I do feel that it could have done with being a lot larger because um, a lot of the details on this sort of fox deer thing are lost in a kit this small. Um, but it was a good, good snack size. I, I didn't have any trouble with it. Although just doing this part, this top row, it took me two weeks <laughs> for some reason. Um, just because I'd, I'd just been struggling for the last couple of months of getting stuff done. Um, but after I'd completed this bit that took two weeks, this whole bit down took two days. <laughs> so that kind of goes how quickly it would have worked up had I not been so busy. But yeah, no problems about this kit. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's sparkly. It was easy to do. Um, and I felt that in this month I could only really work on smaller size kits because, yeah, it's... Uh, I just haven't had the time. So moving on, that was my first finish for the beginning of July. My second finish for July was this one. It's another Jojo's art. It's called The Lamb and the Dragon. It's another 42 by 53, quite a small one. Um, can you see the sparkle on that? It's just, I love the way the dragon pops out. I was very concerned when I first started that, that maybe it had all been charted too dark, but I actually really like it. It depends on the light you get. Like if I block, the light from my window you see it pops out so much more and then you put the sun on it and it sort of disappears into the background but um the only thing I did have with this kit this kit was clearly a much older kit from Diamond Art Club because the the packets that the, that the drills came in were actually a lot um different they had like different lettering on and everything and there was a lot of trash rubbish in this so I saved them just to show you but there's so many like bits of plastic and all resin and 
yeah, it, it's, yeah, I had to pick through a lot of the, the rubbishy bits. Um, and also all the, the colours, they didn't match the other colours I have, because I save all my leftover drills. Um, but the colours from this cat, the DMC numbers on them, the colours didn't actually match anything else that I've got from all of my newer Diamond Art Clubs. It was just, they were completely off in in the shade. So I think this was before they began manufacturing their their own drills in-house. So this was my second finish for the month of July. I did also find as well that the plastic covering on this kit, it was really, really thick. And I did have trouble cutting it um, to kind of yeah, work on it. I had trouble cutting the plastic with my little uh, knife thing that I use. Yeah, this is what I use to cut my plastic cover. Just a tiny little, little knife and you just score it so that you can work on the bit that you want to. But I did have trouble cutting the plastic cover on this kit. And also the glue was a bit fragile when I was working on it. Um, the drills didn't seem to be sticking very well. Uh, and also what I thought was really weird, right, this this little lamy down here the eyes were originally charted so only one of them had like this little red bit in and then the other one was completely black and i was like that that doesn't look right so i just changed that one and made it the same color as that one um because it seemed weird having like one browny red eye and then the other one being completely black so that's the only thing on this one that i changed um yeah so yeah, I did actually find, which I love colour blocking, but for some reason this one, I got like really bored doing like, I started at the top and it just felt like it was taking a really long time. I just wasn't getting into the flow of it. Um, so all the all the main colours of it were down here in, in the little confetti area, lamb and, and base bit. Whoops, I just knocked a drill off. I don't know where that came from. Was it just loose on the... Let's just say it was loose on there because <laughs> it just came off in my hand. Um, so yeah, anyway, that was my second finish for July. So uh, what was it? My third finish for... I'm going to say it was my third finish for July, um, even though I finished it actually like the 2nd of August. Uh, yeah, but it was this one. This was another one that you guys voted for on my stash countdown video series tiger on a rock by the artist dakota datweiler and this was actually a kit there i had like after i bought it i was like mm, maybe i shouldn't have got that one because i wasn't feeling the love once i got it but as soon as i started working on it i went yes this kit is wonderful it's i worked on another kit uh which i think was snow tiger by the same artist that one i loved as well um and i think it's the greens and it just worked out really nicely. And literally just after I'd started working on it, I'd completed literally just like this tiny section up here when my budgie died, my good old Sparky. I'd inherited him from my grandmother when she passed away in 2016. So it was really sad. He was 10 years old. And I thought my original plan was always to change this bird anyway so that it would match this one originally. And I thought, well, it's it seems fitting that... I actually rechart this one to turn it into my little sparky, <laughs> my little budgie. So um, I'm going to put a picture up on the screen right here so you can see my, my little budgie and this charted bit next to it. Um, and then you can decide, you think I did a good job in replicating sparky in diamond form? I did try and include like these little dots, um, which on the picture of my budgie, he's got like these little dark bits under his eyes. Um, and he had the blue nose. So you can kind of see the original colour underneath where originally this bird had like an orange chest, but I kind of made his head a bit bigger and I pulled out all the different kind of greens and teals that I could find that I also had saved over um, from previous kits so that I could try and replicate, replicate little Sparky in it. So I don't think it works 100% well, but um, it just felt fitting for for losing of the sparky which was really really sad um but i love the elephants as well there's like ab's down here in the elephants yeah anyway <laughs> it's it's really cute so anyway that was month in review for for june and july slightly into august but <laughs> we won't count that um so yeah i really hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this video 
So far in August, I haven't actually completed a single kit. I do have two kits that I'm currently working on, um, which is a kit from Abraham, Abraham Hunter, which is called Forest Monarch, and another one from the one with the diamond art. But I, I really haven't made a huge amount <laughs> of progress really on kits in August. So I'll combine my August and September monthly review video into one for I'll put that up at the end of <laughs> end of September next month. So anyway, um, thank you so much for watching. Mini update on the house. It's going well. We're looking at completion in possibly three to five weeks. So it's all it's all moving forward quite well. It's a bit nervous. So I don't expect to be getting much diamond painting really done in the next few months with moving and everything. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please can you hit the thumbs up on your way out? I would really, really appreciate it and it helps the channel out. Um, and hopefully I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks for watching.